Joining me in the studio this morning from the Monmouth uh, Area Chamber of Commerce and Maple City Area Partnership, it's Executive Director Andrea Monroe. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Vanessa. Also, Mike Pearson joining us, Chairman of the Warren County Board, one of our investors in the MCAP and uh, MACC uh, uh, partnerships. Thank you for being here, Mike. Good morning. Thank you. Good to see you. Okay, Andrea, uh, I'm going to turn things over to you. Let's do some quick chamber information. We want to celebrate who the business of the month and nonprofit of the month was. Yes, so we just started this new program where um, we are announcing a business of the month and a non for profit of the month um, each month to then those people are nominated automatically into our um, big awards dinner at uh, next year um, to announce who is the business and non for profit of the year. So uh, this month was for business of the year is ISO Threads and uh, the non for profit is um, the public library. Okay, well, congratulations uh, to ISO Threads and the Warren County Public Library. Good for them. That was for the month of July? Um, August. August? Yes. Okay. Yep, we started it this month, and um, uh, it's not easy choosing anybody by any means, but uh, the way that we just kind of went about it is what's going on and what they're doing. And, you know, with not having a shop co, it's kind of nice that ISO is there and there are some, you know, clothing needs in this this town. And I don't know if people really realize that she has stuff for everyone in there. And then with the public library, Mindy has done such amazing, amazing things for the kids programs and has boosted their, um, their enrollment for their summer program. And, I mean, they had 236 kids this summer. So, I mean, that is leaps and bounds almost uh, more than 100 uh, more kids this year nice. so just it, just all those well-deserving things that people are out doing and uh, we just love to um, celebrate that love it well congratulations to both of those uh, businesses nonprofit Warren County Public Library and ISO Threads glad to have them as part of our community as well as all of our local businesses okay Andrea from the Maple City Area Partnership side uh, we're here to talk about investor of the month, not really of the month, but it's focus highlight one of our investors. Go ahead and tell us all about it. Yes. So now we are also doing um, an investor of the month. And uh, what that involves is just um, highlighting um, one of the one of our investors each month to come in, be on the radio with me and get to, you know, uh, just tell a little bit more about why they um, believe in MCAP and me and why they um, uh, are investors of economic development. Okay. Mike, tell us all about the Warren County Board. The board well, or the Warren county? county yeah. yeah. Well, the, the county, of course, has a significant investment in, in the growth and the stability of the county. And um, getting Andrea on board and, and getting – economic development reestablished in our area is very important to that goal. And um, Andrea's done a fine job. She's got energy and uh, um, comes to our meetings and, and shares that energy with us uh, on a whenever, every meeting. She just has some excitement. We do have a couple of our board members on the board and uh, I got a report to uh, yesterday that uh, one of the board members says I went to your meeting that you appointed me to and I says oh did you enjoy it well yeah did you learn anything well yeah <laughs> so I was like okay <laughs> what's wrong with that but yes it it's very have... important that we grow our community you know otherwise the community just deteriorates and and you lose and as you lose you just continue to lose. We need um, continued excitement. We need um, things going on in our county so that we can continue to be a vibrant, um, exciting place to live and to work. Sure. 
and we appreciate your support uh, as uh, the chairman of, of MCAP. I, I really appreciate the support on behalf of our board uh, from the, the county. Uh, we really appreciate that in our, our partnership with the Chamber of Commerce, of course, as well. And it's challenging. I mean, here we are in a post-COVID era, Andrea, Mike, and, and one of the things that we are noticing and hearing from all of our our folks in the region is retail is tough for Monmouth because we sit next to an economic development hub, which includes Scalesburg based on population and the in- access to the interstate. And then we've got the Macomb hub, which is just 25, 30 miles down the road where they can get some of the same businesses, especially retail, but that leaves a challenge for us here in Monmouth specifically for retail, looking for like another Shopco type place. Certainly it does. It does. You know, we've always had rumors that we're going to have this or that or the other thing, but essentially, um, you know, I remember a long time ago, probably before you guys were around that, uh, you know, we were going to have a Walmart, but I don't see any around. (laughs) So, you You know, Well, Galesburg and Macomb, you do. (laughs) Right. That's exactly right. And Alito. And Alito and Burlington. So sure, sure. There's four within a 12 miles. to 30 mile radius. Yes, that's that's our challenge, right, Andrea? Absolutely, sure is. But you know, I'm doing my best, learning more and more every day. Um, Ken from KCAP has given me a lot of great advice on what he would do if he was in my position, and so I'm taking all that advice and definitely uh, doing it, and hopefully. We will hear something. Yeah, it, yeah. We take the challenge, move it aside, and start yep. trying to come up with new ideas, new innovation, and certainly housing is another one that uh, we're all working on together. I know the county uh, is is very supportive of us trying to to find new housing um, for uh, for residents yep. in in Warren County. Right. So, I just was at a meeting at City Hall yesterday, and and that was the subject. Um, was how can we have a land bank and the land bank's ultimate goal is really to create land for housing and commercial development and good land use and so um yeah it's on the forefront it isn't like we somebody talked about it a year ago it's like yesterday sure sure and that's the nice part about this partnership. Tell us a little bit about uh, the county. It is made up of a county board. Yes, county board. Um, we're the theoretically the governing body. And then, of course, you have lots of divisions, whether you talk about the highway or you talk about the sheriff's office or you talk about the election department or the treasurer's department. They're kind of busy with tax bills. People, you got to remember that most of your taxes do not go to the county, even though that's who you make your check out to. Uh, very small amount goes to the county. The cities get their share. The school districts get the biggest share, and then it gets divided up to everybody else. We were so thankful to have Mr. McVeigh come in and talk to us as the tax assessor and go through line item by line item of our tax bill. It's always refreshing, at least to know what you're supporting in our local community. Well, and I encourage people to read their tax bill. It looks terrible, and it looks different this year than it has in the past because we have a new provider. But really, it's pretty explanatory. And you just if you just read what it says, why you can... It tells you, you know, the, the value of your property as for the assessor, and then it you taxed on a third of that, and then you have discounts. And I would encourage people, because we see it every year, people say, well, I've lived in this house and owned it for 10 years, and I've never had a homeowner's exemption. Or I, I'm a senior citizen. How do I get that done? And our new website helps a lot with that. It explains that in detail. But essentially, um, you know, if you're 65 or older, you could, you need to um, call or trudge up to the assessor's office and say, you know, I need to sign up for this exemption. Yes, we encourage people to do that. And uh, that's very important because there is a homeowner exemption, especially for the senior citizens. So. Well, there's two. Yeah, Uh, what's the other one? You own your house, 
and you're a senior. And then there's the senior freeze, and you get letters each year on that, depending on your income. And so, really, we're talking more than three, but the, those are the three easiest ones to describe and and things. So, essentially, um, you know, a homeowner, um, a senior citizen, and then you'll get the letter on the senior freeze each year. Okay. Thank you for that update, Mike. We appreciate it. Andrea, what else is going on on behalf of Maple City Area Partnership and the Chamber of Commerce? Um, well... On the MCAP side of things, I leave next week and I head to Springfield all week long to um, start my education with, um, it's a three-year process. Um, There are two different ones that I'm going to be taking. There's a different one in October um, also, but uh, this one is for, um, eventually I will have P-C-E-D behind my name, Um, so it's um, property or Property Development Economic de- or Property com- or C- Community Property Economic Developer. Sorry, those there's a lot all those remember. little acrom- <laughs> yeah, acronyms. Um, but yeah, so that um, I am going to be doing um, all next week. And um, then, like I said, in October, there is another one with the IEDA. Um, and that is um, another one for uh, to be a certified economic developer. Um, so lots of fun things going on there, lots of education. I'm still meeting with um, lots of people throughout the county and city. Um, I've been to Alexis, uh, and I met with uh, the county or the city girls there, and um, I went to the field house and met with Kyle and saw all the cool things that he has going on at the field house, um, and uh, Levi at the opera house. So just trying to get out and about and learn more about the county and everything too um chamber side of things we are kind of just at a standstill right now um planning for christmas on the square but uh it's only august so you know just (laughs) little beginning stages and the construction's going on right in front of you guys yes yes we got front row view buster (laughs) and Jeannie and john and and David and Steve and Michelle, all that crew over there, yep. you, you got it first. So. It's exciting because you're like, ooh, we get to be the first ones. We're kind of the guinea pigs. But it's then also like, all right, how, is it going to take this or that? Because they don't know what they're going to find when they're in there. And I've already heard a few things that they have found under there. So <laughs> <laughs> who knows what's done in there. Yep. <laughs> well, that training next week will be excellent on economic development for community property. That's a big deal. So we are glad that things are going well. We're currently looking for an administrative assistant. Yes, sadly, Erin is leaving me. Um, it was uh, it was not easy for her to decide, but she had an opportunity um, that she just couldn't pass up. And um, with her education and background and things of education herself, um, and so this is just something that uh, she wasn't looking for. It just fell in her lap, and she couldn't say no. So uh, we're both sad about it, but I'm hoping to find somebody um, – um, just as wonderful as her, um, that is really good at marketing. I need somebody definitely that um, knows their way around a marketing situation. So um, if anybody wants to apply, they can absolutely um, submit it to um, my office. Okay. And what's the phone number over there? Uh, 734-3181. Okay. We will miss Erin and best of luck to her. She's a true treasure. Mike, anything else you want people to know this morning about the county and uh, investing in economic development and housing? No, I can't think of anything right off. You had mentioned earlier, and I, um, we don't really have an update, but we you should have tomorrow. I'll put in a plug for Mr. Kavanaugh coming tomorrow. He should have an update on when we hope to have our courthouse done. Oh, that'll be nice to have that completed, a Warren County courthouse. Looking forward to hearing that update. Also, real quick, because we're getting close to, we're under 100 days now to the election, do we have any open seats in the county that people should apply for to to uh, to run for office? Well, it's kind of too late. Sure. You know, because we had the primary this spring, and I don't know the exact dates of whatever. But, uh, yes, we do have, the county board's made up of 16 members, um, four from each district, and we have four districts. Um, we do currently have a seat in District 1, which is kind of more or less the southern half of Monmouth. Um, we have a open position 
in District 4, which is kind of more or less the southern half of the county. I have talked to a couple people um, in District 4, and I think we may have a real strong prospect um, because Andrea Monroe um, has um, resigned her seat. And so... Um, Melanie. Melanie Monroe, excuse me. Yeah, we're about to start a new rumor yeah. there. <laughs> that was on the board. Yeah, no, um, I'm sorry. Um, Melanie has, has resigned her seat, and so that leaves an open position um, on the board in that district also. Oh, okay. Well, we wish Melanie all the best and appreciated having her on the board as well. We'll see you next month at the county board meeting. Yes, you will. That'll happen uh, coming up here in September. Andrea, thank you. Good luck at training. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you both this morning. Andrea Monroe with us. She is the Executive Director with the Maple City Area Partnership, Monmouth Area Chamber of Commerce, and Mike Pearson, Chairman of the Warren County.